I'm Lee. I'm the Managing Editor at Milkweed Editions. In my role, I usher manuscripts through copy editing and proofreading to final published books. Um, I'm here today interviewing Benjamin Nakahasebe Kingsley. Benjamin is the author of Demos, An American Multitude, which will publish in March 2021. Uh, this will be his third book in four years, following Colonize Me and Not Your Mama's Melting Pot. So thanks for meeting with me, Ben. Um, I'm going to ask you three questions. Uh, one about your book, one about working with Milkweed, and one about what's going on with you right now. Perfect. So the title of your book comes from the Latin root for democracy, meaning of the people, uh, demos, meaning of the people. What does it mean in your poetics uh, for the United States to be a nation of the people right now? First, let me say, you know, this is a very appropriate question in 2020. Like you just mentioned, the book's title, Demos, uh, Root of Democracy, Meaning of the People. Um, and so let me just rewind for a second back, you know, 700 years ago <laughs> to the 1380s. Um, and in okay. England, uh, and I know that we don't have like more than, you know, one second uh, for etymology. Um, but whenever I think of a nation, you know, for the people, uh, of the people, by the people, uh, we think usually first and foremost of Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, right? Uh, especially if you had to memorize it. Um, but the origins of those phrases uh, actually come from the kind of OG, original, common man uh, translation of the English Bible by John Wycliffe. Uh, and during that time, uh, you know, medieval England, that kind of all powerful um, medieval Catholic church expressly forbid translating the Bible, uh, right? They wanted to be the sole interpreter of right, God's word to the people. Uh, and they wanted to keep the, the you know, power, right? So John Wycliffe was like, F that, you know, he wouldn't have said F that, <laughs> but that was the attitude. Um, and, you know, he was thinking, right, the power and truth of this book should be of the people, for the people, and by the people. And that was in the, the you know, foreword. Um, and I think as writers and readers, uh, we really, really do vibe with that, right? We feel that, we feel that deeply. Uh, truth is for the people, politics is for the people, not a bunch of old white dudes on Capitol Hill. Um, you know, spirituality is for the people, not a bunch of dudes in fancy robes and an even fancier hat, right? Um, literacy belongs to the people, power belongs to the people, and um, for the U.S. to be a nation of the people, it needs to be in the hands of the people, and in my poetics that means I'm always trying to connect with the human, what it means to be human, uh, a real person, right, and not simply trying to show off with language. And what more do you think Milkweed can and should do in the world today? I mean, this answer feels very, what would we say, like kiss ass, <laughs> right? Um, but it's definitely the truth. I mean, like you mentioned, I have two other books and uh, I've published other, other stuff, you know. Um, but I really think that Milkweed should really keep doing what they're doing. Um, I've worked with other editors who have tried to, you know, change my voice or italicize my, you know, foreign words or kind of edit my native tongues. Um, you know, they wanted me to lean into just one side of my ethnicity or, you know, who I am, but that's uh, not me, right? Uh, and Milkweed has really fully embraced all those complicated facets of me. Um, you know, y'all have given me the absolute freedom to pursue and say whatever I wanted. Uh, and I think that, you know, you have all been doing that for a really, really long time. Um, let me say, you know, really quick that uh, I first encountered Milkweed when uh, it was a little over 10 years ago. Yeah, uh, I must have been 18 still, right? Uh, and I read Marilyn Chin's Phoenix Gone, uh, Terrace Empty. And I was really wowed um, by the work that all of you were supporting uh, then and you know, still now and my whole you know, career and literary life since then. So I would, I would certainly just say, you know, keep it up. That warms my heart. I'm 100% um, dedicated to keeping it up. Um, last question. Uh, what is sustaining you right now? This one, I would say, is the easiest softball for me. Um, probably not the best answer, but you know, I already have a job, so I could say is definitely champagne, champagne, champagne. That has been what is sustaining me. Um, if you know that, like, you know, barefoot, bubbly, pink Moscato, mm -hmm. um, that was, mm, that was buy one, get one free all this last <laughs> week. I have no idea why, but the timing <laughs> could not have been more perfect. Um, so this week has just been a beautiful blur of like pink, bubbly. Um, and I feel like I'm supposed to say, you know, like reading, writing, and fine art. 
Uh, and, you know, those things have been sustaining too, but no, I've definitely got to go with the pink champagne for this one. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Um, and thanks to our viewers for watching How It's Made. You can pre-order a copy of Demos at milkweed.org. Mm -hmm.